earlier video, I made the mistake with the Linksense AC2200 that I, I thought it didn't have a web interface, but it does. You get the gateway from, uh, well, with this device, I went into Wi-Fi settings and clicked on the Wi-Fi and it gave me the default IP address. I took that default IP address and copied it to the web browser uh, address bar. And I got this. And now I'm gonna click to continue to smart Wi-Fi. And I'm gonna get the web interface. So I have to put the pin, uh, the recovery pin, which is located within the actual units themselves. So I gotta put in the, it says enter recovery key. Um, enter the recovery key from any of your nodes to unlock admin password, to reset the password, I guess. Um, we need to set up your admin password so you can access settings when you are not online, okay? So let me do that, and it's going to be 83574, submit. Create an admin password. So admin password, uh, I'm gonna leave it the same. Let me see if it lets me do that. 3574. Okay, I left it the same. And this is the web interface on the actual Linksys device. A uh, lot of options. Does anything work? Okay. I'm gonna set, accept all cookies. Uh, I don't know what this is. Let me go back. Network status. I guess it just shows you the network status. Doesn't go anywhere when you click on it. Links is home networking. Learn more about that. Set me to send me to another link. Uh, just the name of the Wi-Fi that I set up. 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Guest access is off. Okay. And the last thing, oh no, not even. Online devices, four. Parental controls is off. Priority is off. So I guess I could prioritize devices. Okay, let me prioritize on. And I'm going to, out of all the items connected, what I'm on right now, the iPad. Oh, I gotta actually drag it. Okay, drag it up and drop it here. I dropped it up there on top. And now I just made the iPad Pro priority. Is that it? Oh. I could have just clicked on it. So I could have clicked on this. So I could click on this. <laughs> I have no idea. This is ridiculous. So I can put it back down here. So let me see if I can just click on the arrow and click it up. No. Nope. So I have to drag and drop. So it's a drag and drop. I left that high priority, okay. Guest access, nothing. Parental control. Different settings. Priority. Let me put the priority again. I'm going to make the iPad Pro, this one. The priority, high priority. This says that add up to three devices to prioritize. Devices not on this list will share what's left of your internet capacity. Okay, speed check. Start it. Wi-Fi information, settings, and things like that. Mac filtering, no. So I 
this, you can go here to block, deny access by MAC address, if you enable it. Sort of like an access control list. Security here. Firewall. DMZ. App. Apps and games. Selected prior provider. This is for the port forwarding things. You can do port forwarding on here. Port range forwarding. It's usually for gamers when they're trying to connect to certain uh, things, make their games faster. Okay, let's go back. Um, and that's it. App Center. I think that's where I am. Nope. All right, that's the web interface. Still a uh, very gooey, not really like it used to be back in the day. Uh, more app based, I think, but that's just my opinion. All right, I hope you like the video. I hope it helps. Thank you for watching. Bye.